Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rahul Automation Studio. So in my last video, I have explained you how you can add a logger log4j in your Selenium project. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can add an extent report.html in your Selenium project. So report is very useful for the reporting purpose. Like if you want to see your test steps and the test case passes and failure in a test suite. So for that, you can always create a report. So we are going to configure extent report. So how you can configure extent report? For that, first of all, we need the jar file for extent report. And uh, to add a dependency, so to add a jar file, we have to search extent report maven dependency. So we will be adding a dependency for it. So just click on the version number that you want to export just click on copy and paste this dependency in your form.xml file so just click on save button once you have added the dependency in form.xml file just right click on it go to the maven and reload the project so once you will do the reload project it will automatically add the jar file for extend report in your external library so you can see this is the extent report chart that has been added for you now let's configure there is one more file for the extent configurations so this is an extent hyphen config.xml file you have to put uh, you can put in any folder but it is recommended that you put in a resources folder right under the test folder because it is a file that is related to the test that is related to the report so this file is nothing this file is just having some configurations for the extent report that how you want to display your uh, extent report so like you want to represent a report like theme should be dark and then coding should be like this what kind of protocol it is using what name you want to give uh, for the report headline what should be the date format while displaying the logs and the details in your extent report so this basic information that can be added in your extent hyphen config dot file so you can load this file while configurations your extent report so now let's go to our coding part for uh, extent report how you can configure just we have one class capability base class under the java folder we are we will be configuring under the capability base class so why we are using in because it is useful that you can reuse it you can call in any step any test case right so let's start first of all we have to declare a variable public static why we are declaring static we are declaring static because we can directly call in a class or we can call it by a name class name as well so public static extent reports we will be declare one variable for it. In the same way, we will be declaring for our extend test, right? Extend test. So these two variables we have declared. This is for the extend report. This is for the extend test. So first of all, we will be creating one folder with the name of report under our project. So we will create one path for it where so this is our project path right so this is our project path under our project we will be declare one folder with the name of reports right so this is our path let's create this world how you can create we have to take the help of a file create this folder new file just pass, pass the path for it now file dot make directly so we have to use a method mkdir this will create this particular report folder under your this path now let's go we will be creating extend report we have already declared a variable so we will be using it extend report equal to new 
exchange report so in this exchange report we have to pass the path for it so just file dot get absolute path so this will give the path to us click on plus sign so what name you want to give for your report we will be giving as a extent report dot html so this name is there and it will create uh, this html file with this name right so now let's come to the next step so in the extent report we can also add some more informations so like add system info so system info like you can define different values like what kind of environment you are using what is the username for it right so some different information that you want to display in your report that uh, you can add so we will be adding one more variable like environment and like which one suppose we are running this test case in a sit so you can add many system informations in the extent report in the same way so we have added one more file that is extent hyphen config.html sorry dot xml and it is having some basic configurations of extent report so how it should be look like so we will be loading this file now so extent report dot load config so if you see the parameter for load config it is containing a parameter uh, or argument type of a file so we have to pass as a file so for that we will be doing a new file new file so like this and we have to pass the path for it so let's just do the absolute copy of this path like this so now this will create a file for it so and it will automatically load to it now our basic uh, object for the extent report has been created now we have to add the test inside the extent report so like for which test it is logging into it right so let's start our first test case so we have to use as a method of start test so in the test start test we have to pass the class name so test name for it capability base class dot class dot get name right so like this you can pass it and uh, under the start it will get assigned to extend test we have already declared this variable extend test so it will be using unit now in this extend test you can add any log in it just add the app log log status so in the log status you can see you can pass as if you can add as a pass step you can add as a error or you can add as a fail step you can add as a skip this test skip this uh, step right so you can add uh, in way you want to add so let's to try to add as a this step is passing for us so test step edge passed now after so in the same way you can add all different type of log in your test cases and same will display in your report like for the pass for the fail step for the skip fail right so after adding all this you have to end this test so to, in the same way you have started the test you have to end the test and you have to pass the variable of test it so after ending the test you have to flush the report so this flush method is very important for your extent report so flush if you will not write this flush method then logs proper logs will not display in your uh, report proper details will not display so you have to use the flush to add all the steps info into your test cases so this is the configurations that you have to do for extent report now let's try to execute this and they should create a folder with the name of report and under the report folder it should create a extent report.html file for you which will be having different test cases and the information that has been added in the test cases let's execute it
so it is having the logger as well so that's why it is showing some logging informations for you and test case has been passed for us now in this report folder you can see reports folder has been generated and under the reports folder extent report.html file that we have added is it is also created and in this report we have added one log that is test step has passed so let's see let's open this file in, you can open this file in any of the browser you can open in chrome firefox and is let's try to open in a chrome and uh, in the report you can see this is the name that is having in the configuration right you remember uh, this extent hyphen config dot file automation execution report so it is having automation automation execution report right so in that way it will display extent report and you can see in the extent report this this is the name that we have added this is our class name and the timestamp is there and the details which we have added is test step has passed and it is showing this test step as a pass right so if it is failed you can add as a failure one right so if it failed you will get as a fail and you can also see a chart also in the extent report it will show you the total number of test cases total number of steps how much total time it has taken to execute right and overall time it will show you the start time and and the end time of the test case so you can see at the graphical representative as well how many test cases have passed how many are failed and one more thing that uh, we have added the parameter in our extent report by default it will add username operating system java version and host name and one more variable we have added as a environment so the environment is sit so it will be helpful as helpful for us so that in which environment we have run our test case right so in that way you can add it a more environment more parameter as well so this is how you can configure extent report in your selenium project guys i hope you like my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye